Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. First to enter the den are a dynamic father and son team. A little edgy and tense, but confident that their innovative transport and recreation solution will haul in a deal. It's like you're waiting to jump off a cliff, eh? <laughs> but I'm sure we'll land. <coughs> My dad is great. He's a, he's a really conceptual guy. He comes up with great designs and we work together very nicely. Greetings, Lions. It's awesome to be here. I am engineer. Joe Monene, founder, director of Quantum Trailers Limited. This is my son and partner, final year student, mechanical engineering, University of Nairobi. Greetings, lions and lionesses. I'm Gitao Kahara, research and development technician at Quantum Trailers. Quantum Trailers is a mechanical engineering SME, dealing in light duty cargo trailers and container conversions. Our main selling points are, one, quantum trailers can cut the costs of long distance transport of variable bulky goods by 50 to 70%. I am known in the market as the trailer guru. We started doubling our revenues in 2014 and peaked to 27 million in 2017. We would wish to offer the Lions 20% equity for 10 million. Which of you Lions would like to take the quantum leap. A trailblazing business venture, and all of a sudden, the lions are all ears. Darshan Chandaria Manufacturing Magnet is particularly interested. What happened in 2018? You told us your 2017 revenue of 27 million. What happened in 2018? What happened was the elections that started in 2017. All the orders that we were expecting were all stopped, and everybody was like, no, let's wait after the elections. It's only just a month or two. It took six months, and I'm trying to reinvent myself, basically. How much is it to build this specific one? What it has cost me is under 100,000. I'm selling it for everything inclusive, including legal registration. I'm selling it for 180. So like there's that trailer that normally has ads that drives around Nairobi, you've seen it? Yes, yeah. the mobile billboard. Yeah, yeah. I built it. Is that you that built it? Those are my products. How many trailers do you sell per month? Um, at the moment, I'm doing about two, three. But you have some that are already pre-built? No, we have not been able to do that. Um, we want to get there. So that, that takes us to the money. What do you need the 10 million for? The 10 million, I want to do trailers for hire. We have worked out and said you can be able to generate with 30 trailers, that's about 90,000 a day. Round it off to 100,000 a day for 10 days in a month. That's a million a month. How many, a how many trailers for hire did you say you have at the moment? I have only two. And you want to jump from two to 30? Yes, in order to be able to generate those revenues. A quantum leap in terms of their projections has got Olive Gashara and the rest of the Lions worried. Today you have two. Yes. Do you have them always booked every single weekend, every single week? Is, that, is the demand that high today? No, it's not yet, because I have not really gone out and really pushed to say that I have the trailers. So why do you think that when you have 30, you are going to be able to hire them? Um, because of the rate at which people have been asking me that question. So how much would a container converted two-bedroomed house like that cost? 1.5 million. How much time would it take to do that? Uh, four to five weeks. The focus on the trailers? Yeah. Is it because it's your passion or because that's where the low-lying fruit lies? The competition in the container line mm -hmm. is, is, is very high. Everybody knows how to convert containers, you know. Mm -hmm. Not everybody knows how to build a trailer. I think you need to rethink the strategy a little bit. You need to bring something to the market that will have traction, where you have some unique selling proposition to really propel the business forward. So I'm out from an investment point of view, but it's fantastic, you know, your fighting spirit to have come back from the setback. Thank you, Ash. Um, personally, I don't have much knowledge of this specific uh, area and I don't see myself being able to add value to you. Most likely some other lion over here will be able to pick it up, so I'm out. Thank you, Chris. Two lions, the manufacturing and tech gurus, Darshan and Chris, bow out. But maybe what this business really needs is marketing prowess. Can Kevin Mulay offer them what they need?
Guitar, if you can take some time to research what's next about trailers, I'm sure you'll be able to find some pockets on how you can actually take the dream from where that started to where you want to take it. Your passion is just amazing, you know, coming back from 2018. Many people went down and that was it. I celebrate that and I'm out. Thanks for the encouragement. It's all boiling down to strategy. Can Olive Gashara or Joanne Mwangi pull this business out of the glutted sin? If you have two trailers for hire and they're not out all the time, it doesn't justify going out and building 30. Because you see a market that you've not quite tested. I see the market as well, but you've not physically tested it on the ground. So I'm not sure that's the best direction. You definitely need a comeback. I don't know what that comeback looks like, but I doubt this is it. So I'll say I'm out, but I wish you all the best. Thank you. And then there was one. And then there was one. <laughs> There's something special that you need to teach the rest of us as parents, that you've been able to get your son into your business. Uh, it, it's, not, it's not easy, it's admirable. This, you know, as, as Kevin has said, there's some magic to that. So whatever you're seeing that's so magical about what your dad is doing, keep at it, do it even better. I honestly think that the space that is competitive which is now the, 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 the container conversions and the prefabricated houses. There's a lot going on there. There's still a niche for some revenue stream. And the trailers can be your secondary as you're thinking still, because you have to have money to build more money, you know? And uh, I think that's where I would say you focus. So for now I'm out, but uh, very well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I like to say I'm the only farmer in the group, so I can actually see the potential. There's a lot of competition. This line of There's you being the only farmer I'm in the, the group. I'm the only farmer, it's a fact. I mean, you guys gotta start farming. Who's gonna feed the nation? Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. A tough battle for the father and son team. And no deal for quantum trailers. But hopefully, they will leave the den with a new vision and strategy. It's a great eye-opener for me. And uh, that will help me to be able to chart uh, direction where I can, I can go. I'm the only farmer. I am the <laughs> only farmer. I'm the only farmer. <laughs> we have to come up with a new strategies eh, of how to reinvent ourselves. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.